Today, the president of Penn State said the university is working with the police to determine how many fraternity members and victims are connected to that Facebook page that got Kappa Delta Rho suspended for a year. Benita Nyer is at the frat house with the latest. The men of Kappa Delta Rho had no interest in talking about the vulgar images on their Facebook page, photographs of naked women. Some of them passed out. Um, no comment. You're not allowed to do that. Yeah, you're on our property. I'm pretty disgusted by all this, to be honest. Senior Caroline Dudley attended multiple parties at the frat house. Did the parties ever get out of hand? Drinking definitely got out of hand. They never really ran out of alcohol, so they were like, encouraging everyone to drink, whether you seemed like you could handle it or not. Are you angry about it? You're jeopardizing these girls' reputations. Also, you're embarrassing them and their families. According to a police search warrant, which included images photocopied from the now-deleted website, 144 past and present fraternity members had access to these images. One fraternity member boasted the page had more than 370,000 views. Others boasted about sexual exploits. The president of Penn State University, Eric Barron. I am very committed to due process. I'm very committed to making sure that we know exactly who is responsible and then taking action on those that are responsible. In response to the post, the university is now offering extended counseling services. Scott, tonight we're being told that representatives from each and every sorority on campus will meet with the university. Benita, thanks very much.